Okay, so I, I got everything I need for now. I'm going to show you what I got. Um, in case you missed the other video or I don't put these videos together. This is, it's Eddie Van Halen style basswood body. I got it as part of a kit and what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand it down and I'm going to stain it. I'm actually going to do the top in a, a different, uh, I, f I forget what kind I'm doing it in. It's still coming in the mail. <laughs> it's going to be more of an orange. The back is actually going to, I'm going to use this. It's uh, Minwax Poly Shades. And actually I need something to stir it. I just thought of that. That's all right. I don't have to open that yet. That's for that. Also the paintbrush is for that. I'm going to sand it and I'll also put my gloves on when I do that. I'm going to sand it with 220, which is a very fine, just to kind of smooth it out a little bit. It's actually not very bad right now. And then once I'm finished with that, I'm going to take the tack cloth and wipe it down so there's no particles on it. And then I'll probably use one of this cheesecloth to wipe it down again. And then I'll put this on. So first thing first, I'm going to sand it down with 220. Get this stuff out of the way this will come in after i do that i'll end up sanding it lightly sanding it after i do that so, anyway all i'm really gonna do here is from what i've seen on the internet other people doing it's just kind of like get the top coat off a little bit it's already pretty smooth, so I'm not going to go crazy with it because for two reasons. One, it's the back of the guitar, and two, it's already pretty smooth. All right, I'm going to vacuum, wipe this off, vacuum it, and then I'm going to use the tack cloth on it, so. Some of the things I've noticed on the internet is that, I don't think I'm going to cut this, is that people don't use tack cloth. And I've heard the old guys that did anything like this always told me to use it. So I don't know if it's right, if you need it or not, but um, I'm going to do it. I know this stuff is sticky and it's kind of a pain. I mean, it really sticky kind of thing, but that's what it needs to be so they can get all the dust and debris off of the guitar so that whenever you're putting the, uh, the stain on there, you don't have to worry about it. That's really sticky kind of stuff. <clears throat> I, I, I kind of have to tell you, I, I'm not really worried about making this perfect since this is my first project guitar. Um, but uh, I am going to try to make it as nice as possible because that's just kind of the first thing I am. Yeah, this is actually it's pretty good. This stuff's terrible.
Yeah, it turned out pretty nice, actually. Very little that I did to it. I got some painter's tape. So that I can... I kind of wanted to tape up the side. I don't even know if I need to. Hmm... right now whether I need to do that or not if I want to do it usually people do the top first but since I don't have the stain for the top um, doing the back you know what I am going to do it Just I'm not done. I don't feel like it. So, all right. The nice thing about the stain, too, is I need something to stir it. I forgot. The nice thing about this stain is that I don't really care too much how it turns out on the back. I keep saying that. I got some gloves. This is oil based. So, and it's also gloss. You can either get um, satin or gloss. I went with gloss because I just felt like it. And you gotta make sure you wear a rubber glove. Look at that. Hopefully, these things do not fail me. These, I just found them. I forgot to get them and I found them. So, I hope they work. Randy, put a shirt on. Okay, and also found this, so. This is the stain. They say to stir it from the bottom up. I don't know how much you have to stir it. You're not supposed to shake it. I'm um, not sure why. Maybe it doesn't matter with this. I'm trying to think if I smell this or not, because this isn't a very well ventilated area. You gotta be careful of if you use rags with this stuff don't just lay the rag around you have to lay it flat someplace preferably outside otherwise it could combust which is freaking nuts but um for those of you who don't know what that means that means it could catch on fire <laughs> and anything around it so i'm just looking at the bottom of this to see to make sure that i can see at the bottom there's like I don't know what it is. It's the paint part. So I'm trying to get it mixed in together. See, this is going to be black. One thing I can't do is put it on too thick and have runs. What people have said is always do it to apply it very thin. You can always put more on. Um, but most of the time, people who make the mistake, they put too much on at once. It's looking pretty good. Pretty good, clear consistency. Actually, Minwax has some pretty good 
YouTube videos on uh, how to use this stuff. Right. I probably didn't get the best brush for it, which is another very important thing they say. So I'm going to. smell this stuff Let's get it down there I was curious to that's too thick probably Just trying to get the brush. It always seems to be better when you're painting to get the brush situated, get it saturated a little bit, and then it always seems to go on better. Well, that looks pretty good. It's really good. It smells really potent. I think I'm gonna have to take this outside when I'm done. So here we go. I'm not too worried about getting on the white because I've seen a bunch of people fix that by using a razor blade and I'll I'll show that too. Well, that's pretty good actually it's looking great it did, it did get a little on the front I'll, I'll fix that I can take care of that yeah so It's like it's not really absorbing it too much. Maybe I'm putting it on too thin. I don't. All right. I'm gonna let this dry. See how it turns out. It doesn't look very glossy to me, which makes me think that I put it on too thin. But um, it's gonna look pretty nice. I'll take a razor blade over that, and that'll cover that.
I'm doing this because I didn't finish the front yet. I don't want to screw it. I don't want to screw it up too bad so that I have to sand it so much. first. Paintbrush. So then, that's the idea about a new paintbrush.
that's the second coat. I don't know how that will turn out. I'll, I might need to put another one on. I, it's not, it's not looking as perfect like I want it to. Again, like I said, it's the back, so I'm not too worried about it. So I'll let that dry for another six hours and do it later.